Hey y'all, welcome back to Cherry Hill Farm. I'll be honest with you, I've uh, filmed a whole bunch of video way back. And I haven't really had the time to edit it and get it put out. Um, what I had filmed just was uh, pretty edit intensive footage and I just have never been able to find the time to get it out. We've been slam covered up this year more so than normal with the greenhouse and strawberries and trying to get everything ready to roll, planting, laying plastic. Um, so a lot of that stuff may save it for a later date. It may never get put out, but we're gonna back up and start over. And I'm gonna start fresh with more up-to-date videos. Like the video I put out last week, it was pretty old it was from the i believe the hard freeze we had in march um the advective freeze event where the the wind brought the freeze and it was like 30 it was below freezing before dark a lot of y'all were asking about when that was because you didn't think it was the most recent frost and it was not uh, what i'm doing today is something i don't think i've actually ever made a video about and i'm gonna go here in just a minute and show you some other cool stuff take you on a tour of our greenhouse a um, lot of progress since the last video but I'm going to try to make this thing kind of simple and straightforward where I don't have to do a lot of editing and I can get videos out and I'm going to try to start doing a better job of getting more up-to-date content out on a weekly basis this is a field of coal crops um, I didn't know exactly what was here I think it's like 0.6 acres in this um, mainly broccoli we've got some cabbage and some uh, collards up here and as you can see we've been doing a fair job of keeping it hoed but it is well overdue for cultivating um, and as a result of that if we're getting rain in the near future or even if we don't and I have to run this these overhead wobbler sprinklers that you see we've got here. Either way, it's gonna make these weeds spring back to life after cultivating them. So, uh, we're probably gonna have to do this again. I'm hoping, golly, we came back and hand planted some stuff and they got pretty wide on this row and I'm hoping that the cultivators are gonna go over it. Most of the rest of this is going to be good. Um, no problems. You can see that we are, it's the 22nd of April. And we're kind of behind on broccoli a little bit. You can see it's the, the biggest ones, there's different stages, which is a good thing. You can see we're starting to make some heads down in there. Um, early on you can see we had some cold damage so I don't know that it would have been a good thing to have got it out in a more timely manner but uh, we're going to run the cultivators over it and then I'll uh, take y'all and go show you some other pretty cool stuff that we got going on helped it out looks better maybe not good but better still some hoeing to be done we uh let's see about two weeks ago sometime along in there we planted our first planting of tomatoes did a variety 100 foot row of four rows of different types of tomatoes different heirlooms and red rounds uh, we had a frost the other night and you can see we took high tensile 
wire, put these little bows across the row every few feet and pull the row cover over it. And there is definitely some frost burn on some of this stuff. A little bit of cold damage. I think it'll pull out of it. I don't know if that's really gonna... Uh, it's been so cool that I don't know that that's gonna set us that much further ahead than the ones we're fixing to plant tomorrow. But uh, we got squash and zucchini coming up. Cucumbers, it look like we're gonna have to replant. They're coming up fair, but I had some some holes stopped up in the Poly Planter Junior, and I didn't realize it until I was about done. Uh, we got Swiss chard coming along. It don't care about the cold weather. And this is the first time for us on this. Growing our sweet corn on black plastic. We're gonna give it a try. I've heard two weeks earlier. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Um, but it's coming up somewhat consistently. The first planting is coming along. There's still some dang skips, a lot more than I'd like to see. I think I'm gonna have to go up a size on my plate with my Poly Planter Junior. It almost makes me think though, that it's a little out of time because I got missing holes and now I got doubles. Uh, if that's the case, I don't know what to do about it because all that stuff's kind of made that way. You can't, I don't know that you can change the timing on that junior. Got some sugar snap peas coming along, looking good. And here in a few minutes, I will take you on a little tour of our greenhouse and show you where it's at. So since that last video about the wreck, um, got the little cleaning up done and we have got our fence rebuilt and then some. Got the two corners that were taken out up there fixed. And down here, we kind of moved this a little bit and brought it on out. We've been pretty busy around here. Also got a load of rock and made a nice little sidewalk, which needs to be sprayed with Roundup. Rocked around our greenhouse. Been wanting to do that for a good long while. And everything in here is hooked up now. We've got all the ventilation fans running, all the overhead irrigation hooked up. And as you can see, our hanging baskets of petunias have gotten right smart larger than they were last time got marigolds fixing to pop open i think the timing's going to be just right on that if anybody's got a solution for keeping the mice from digging in your cucurbits in your greenhouse please fill me in um because i'm kind of at a loss we've tried blue traps we've tried regular traps we've tried all types of the strongest poison we could get a hold of and so far we have not find, found anything to keep them from digging in them and uh, digging the seeds up. Um, I mean, the next step, I guess, would be build a nice uh, table that's up on slick stainless steel legs or something that they can't climb. Um, that's, I don't know what else to do. Anyway, um, got our petunia planters our tomatoes are coming right along hopefully we're going to get most of these babies sold in the next couple weeks because these are the right size good strong plants um, as you can see well that's not a good example 
you can see how a little bit of moisture on top dry pretty dry underneath that's how we kind of try to keep them uh keep them as short as we can and also kind of harden them off make them stronger uh, so that they don't lay down when you plant them in the field these petunias were beautiful they look like this uh, but they had gotten really carried away and uh, they were kind of getting torn up when people were pulling them out of the packs when they were in the flat they looked great when you started pulling them apart they were kind of leggy so this earlier this week we hacked them down to the bone petunias are pretty tough they'll take it you can see it's already putting out suckers which is what we want we want a nice little bush instead of a long stringy like half a dozen vines uh, begonias i've really struggled with to be honest with you uh, we've had a lot of uh, disease and damping off and just they don't appreciate being here in the sun uh, we've been more successful growing them at our house which is a uh, more shady greenhouse but they look okay hopefully they're going to get sold still got some violas three flats left that are going begging 22nd of april maybe a hard sale at this point uh, this is kind of what our petunias look like when they're not hanging up. You can't really see them all that good hanging up, but really, really pleased with our hanging baskets. Uh, and they seem to be selling pretty good so far. Not as fast as I'd like, but Mother's Day's in a couple weeks, so hopefully we're gonna by then have it, just about everything hanging in here cleaned out. Um, we're trying to get a jump on tomatoes i wish we had done a whole lot more but you can see these are uh big beef tomato they need suckering we got them planted in uh, i believe these are they're one or two gallon grow bags maybe a two gallon grow bag and it's folded down but probably a gallon and a half of soil in there really nice looking tomatoes um tomorrow where is the 20s 3rd of April we're expecting it to be a really big day here at the greenhouse we've got strawberries in limited quantities um, now let me turn some of these fans off you might could hear me better thank you sir got another batch of tomatoes coming along as you can see some of them are ours a lot of these are going to be getting planted in the field tomorrow yeah red morning hopefully we have done a good job of hardening these off nice root system good stout plant that's going to take the wind we may try to do a video on that got some eggplant of ours that's going to go in tomorrow a bunch of peppers that we're going to try to plant tomorrow um But hopefully we can get this sucker partially, not, I don't want to sell everything I've got tomorrow, but hopefully we can get this thing partially cleaned out, get rid of some hanging baskets. And then the plan is we're gonna take these big tomatoes in these grow bags and set them down the tables and string them up and start clipping them. And I'm hoping that we are the earliest people around to have red round tomatoes. Um, I think that just about covers everything in here. We've got a heck of a variety of tomatoes. If you are around here close and there's anything you're looking for, we probably have it. Striped Germans, Romas, Sunny Boys, Big Beef, Better Boy, Brandywine, Celebrity, you name it, we got it. All flavors of marigolds. Actually, I didn't realize there was some of them opening up already. Sweet. I believe those will mostly, part of those will open up tomorrow. This is the first time we've ever grown marigolds. First time for a lot of this greenhouse and stuff. But we like to uh, usually, that's a pretty good looking marigold. It's kind of our style to bite off more than we can chew. 
and uh, jump in something head first when we don't know what we're doing. But when you learn something the hard way, I guess you don't forget it. But I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, stay tuned. I'll see you next time.